Well, you can say knowledge is power, and today UNM officials are arming students with that power, specifically concerning personal safety. This, of course, in response to two incidents in the past couple of weeks where female students be, have been groped while walking on campus late at night. You know, one way of becoming empowered is to know what's available and what's out there to protect yourself. News 13's David Romero is live at UNM with more. Good morning, Mr. Romero. Good morning, Matt. Well, you know, here on campus, there are many dark and deserted spots where not a whole lot of light shines. And school officials say the best way for students to stay safe, stay safe rather, is to rely on campus security and police, many of the resources that they offer, and of course, above all that, to use a little common sense. Now, today, UNM is holding a public input forum in the sub atrium from 11 to 1 to discuss the recent groping reports and safety measures. And of course, the goal of the forum is to make students more aware and involved in looking out for ways to prevent being a victim of such attacks, as well as making them aware of what resources are available to help them avoid getting into bad situations. Now, some of those include utilizing the campus security escort services to walk students from classes to their cars or dorms late at night. I know that campus, campus police wants to make us feel as safe as possible, but at the same time, we're just, it's just such a huge campus and not everyone can be protected. And of course, if you have any information that UNM police can use in their investigation, you can call them at 277-2241 or email them at police tips at unm.edu. They also have a web page set up where you can get more information on those groping attacks. We will have a link to that posted later this morning at krqe.com. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you very much, David. A lot of students on edge there. Important information from you. Now, since UNM heard about these attacks, they've beefed up security team. The police department has by hiring private security guards to help patrol campus. And take a look at this. Sketches of two of the men police say attacked one woman last week. Officers say they grabbed and groped her near Johnson Field and took off in a blue car. If it looked familiar to you, please call police. Also out of UNM this morning, Lobo football coach Bob Davey is speaking out about that anonymous letter that casts him in a bad light. Davey told News 13 that he is no racist. He admitted that there had been issues with pot use on the team, but the coach says everyone gets equal punishment regardless of race. Everybody in this program will be treated exactly the same. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white. Because of privacy laws, Davey couldn't mention any of the players by name. The coach also denies ever getting into a physical fight with the player the letter mentions. He admitted to falling while verbally confronting the player about a game, but says no fight ever took place. The athletic department also has signed statements from four players, which also say there were never any, uh, any fights. They also say no player has ever come forward with any of the allegations. They're done tallying the votes in that very close race for the Albuquerque School Board. Today we can expect the county clerk to declare an official winner. The unofficial count shows Donald Duran 12 votes ahead of incumbent board member David Robbins. That's in the race for District 6. Fellow incumbent Paula Maez also ran. She fell short about 300 votes. The county clerk's office says the vote counting was completed and they plan to move forward certifying the votes today. If candidates want to ask for a recount, they must wait until the results are certified. If you're looking for a job, can you hear the train a coming? Well, listen to this. The railroads are looking to hire 11,000 people all across the country, including some right here in New Mexico. BNSF and Union Pacific are among the companies hiring, and BNSF tells us it's looking to fill 94 new jobs plus replace folks who are retiring. BNSF also says it's very interested in hiring veterans. The jobs pay pretty well. They should be available in the next few months. Find out more about them at krqe.com. Look under news links. Well, don't let con men rip you off using your PNM bill. Albuquerque police say guys are out there telling people and businesses that their latest power bill, the, the check for it or what have you, didn't go through and they need to pay up instantly using a credit card. Of course, they want your credit card number. Police say the whole thing is fake and they've heard stories about this scheme going on in Alamogordo, too. And here's a warning from the MBD about what could be an insurance scheme going around. Its leaders say telemarketers from something called the Auto Insurance Center are calling people, claiming the MBD is concerned that you're paying too much for car insurance and asking you to call a 505 number. Then, well, yeah, they want your personal information, too. Don't give it to them. Of course, the MBD says it has absolutely nothing to do with this. A well, canine group from New Mexico is joining the search for a missing boy from southern Colorado. A company called Special Operations Canine Forensics is planning on using its land and water cadaver dogs to help look for this young man 
Dylan Redwine. He's been missing since November after he went to a court-ordered visit with his dad in Vallecito. It's near Durango. Dylan's dad says he talked with the K-9 Forensics about helping with the search for his son this week. And he's also talking with a private investigator. It's almost three months now that young man has been missing. Certainly hoping they find some sign of him.